you can talk directly to me or you can talk directly to the camera. It doesn't really I'll matter. I'll talk to you. Okay, you talk to me and I'll sit over here. Very good. My name is Ava Carter and um, I'm a chiropractor here in Kingsport, Tennessee. I've been here for 10 years this year. Last week was our 10th anniversary and uh, I went to chiropractic school in Marietta, Georgia. I finished down there in uh, September of 1997 and took a job over in Memphis, Tennessee and that was not where I wanted to be and by the grace of the good Lord I came back to East Tennessee and uh, I am a native from here and I didn't think this was where I wanted to live but it just worked out that uh, an opportunity opened and uh, I was able to open my business here in Kingsport and like I say I've been here for 10 years I was very fortunate and blessed to have won the small business startup contest in 1998 and that sort of set the groundwork uh, to enable me to open this practice here. I was given a one-year membership to the Chamber of Commerce, $3,000 in cash, uh, a business committee of an attorney, a CPA, several business folks in town, and just had uh, total support and backing of, of my community when I got started. And uh, again, I've been here for 10 years. I've loved every moment of it and hope that I can be here many, many more years. My family, um, like I say, I'm a Kingsport native. I grew up in a small community called Long Island. And as stories go, when my parents both grew up there, when they were children, there were approximately four to 500 houses in that community. Houses were just door to door, a lot of kids. Uh, they had their own school, uh, elementary school. It went to the eighth grade. And when I came along, uh, my brother and I, we started into school uh, at Long Island. I, I was there, I think, in kindergarten. Uh, and then we were uh, getting ready to move to a new location out towards Sullivan Gardens, and our parents started us into school out there. So I never really attended uh, grade school uh, in Long Island. But again, uh, my parents grew up there. All their families lived around in Long Island, and just a really great community. Is that where the Eastman plant is now? Where, where Long, is? Long Island is where the Eastman uh, plant is, part of it. We are on one side of the river and uh, most of the Eastman uh, itself is on another side. I, my practice is on North Eastman Road and we actually lived on South Eastman Road, which is just across the river. Years ago, the bridge fell through and traffic was uh, stopped. Obviously, you couldn't cross the river anymore and it never was built back, so uh, we were kind of isolated. What is the, was there industry there or what type of, was it a working community or? Working community, blue collar, it was a, actually a low income community at that point in time. Uh, large families, most folks, years and years ago when my grandparents first moved to Long Island, uh, my grandmother worked for what was called the Cotton Mill or J.P. Stevens Company as, as a teenager. Uh, my granddad, he had a fifth grade education and eventually became the general superintendent of General Shell Products, so just hard working folks. On my mom's side, they moved from Cooks Valley. Um, they were all from Virginia. Uh, my grandmother, who she, her family was from Hawkins County, and they were farmers. They moved to Kingsport to find work. And on my dad's side of the family, all of his people, he was, of course, a carter, and they were all from Scott County, Virginia. And again, they were farmers. And, um, and is that descendant of the original carter that came down uh, from Maryland in the 1700s? Or Absolutely. My mom has done a lot of work on the genealogy of the Carter family and we can trace back to the folks who came from Maryland. There's a lot of in information on the Carter family. Your, your practice, you do a certain type of chiropractic, right? Or do you, you I am, I'm what's called, a, I practice uh, diversified, which um, 
I use multiple techniques. Whatever works for that patient is what I use uh, in the practice. I'm not set on one technique at all uh, because it all works. And again, you have some folks that come in, one technique will be best or another technique. And so I use, I have a whole bag full of techniques that I use. Chiropractic itself was, um, it was started in 1895 by D.D. Palmer. And uh, throughout time, the Palmers actually started a chiropractic school in Davenport, Iowa. And it was uh, operated by the son B.J. I actually went to school at Life College in Marietta, Georgia. It's where I graduated from. So it has a long history. It's over 100 years old. And what a chiropractor does, we look for subluxations, which means one bone is misaligned on top of another, causing nerve interference. So basically, that's what a chiropractor looks for. What a chiropractor does, we physically or manually move the vertebrae, whichever vertebrae is subluxate, subluxated, we move that interference, we set the vertebrae, move the interference so the body can operate at its optimum potential. It's a wonderful, the body is a wonderful thing. You find it, you fix it, and you leave it alone, and, and it'll run quite well. Um, can you give us a little walk through of what a, a client might, what your average client might expect as far as the process of bringing them through and setting them up. Absolutely. Well, I'll take you on a tour and, and show you what happens when a patient first walks into the office. Yeah, that is what we're going to do. <laughs> well, this is our waiting area here at Carter Chiropractic. When a patient first enters, they come in, uh, they'll meet Debbie. She is our receptionist, our insurance lady. She just she does uh, most everything here other than adjust. And uh, she takes care of the new patient. She gets all their paperwork together, uh, helps them fill it out if they need to. And then they come on back and talk with me. This is a therapy room. This is where we do our therapies after the patient has been seen and had x-rays and uh, we figure out what's going on. We bring them in. We have an electric stem machine over here. We have intersegmental traction on the two blue tables and a hydrotherapy table uh, here that's burgundy. Very effective. When we come down the hallway, this first room is uh, our primary adjusting room. This is where the patient comes for their test adjustment and, and their treatments thereafter. We have two adjusting rooms. This is the second one here. And when the patient first comes into the office, they have to come in and sit down and talk to me. It takes about 15 minutes uh, just to get some um, information from the patient, find out what's going on, get a better understanding of what's happening to them. And we do that in this room right here. After they talk to me in the consult room, we move over to this room, and this is where we do all of our x-rays. Our office is small, but it's very effective. It's set up where we have a nice flow uh, with the patients going through. We average somewhere in the neighborhood of 35 to 45 patient visits a day, which keeps us pretty busy. So we're very blessed to be able to help a lot of people. We also have a massage therapist here in our office, and she works out of this nice room. Very pretty. It has sunflowers. It's a lively room. Her name is Abby. She does quite well. She sees about five to six patients a day, her clients. And that's about it for the office tour. Just looking at this, your AC joint, of course, out here, and where the clavicle attaches to the sternum, mm -hmm. look how far yours is hanging down. On um, This is the left and this is the right. There's there's your clavicle coming in on this side. Mm -hmm. look, look where it is over here. Look at the distance between those two. And you're right-handed, correct? Mm -hmm. So what needs to be done is that needs to be lifted up. 
Well, Mr. Rob, here are two views of your neck. And uh, when you originally came in, we talked about the subluxation, and, and I don't, re don't expect you to remember all of that at, at this point, but a subluxation means that you have one bone misaligned on top of another. And we are designed that we have curves in our body for a reason. Your neck is supposed to be curving forward, okay? And in your case, it's going totally backwards, totally opposite the direction it's supposed to go. So that's a reverse cervical curve. See this right here? That's your skull, okay? And in a male, it weighs in the neighborhood of 15 to 18 pounds. So if you've ever been bowling, you know what a bowling ball feels like, right? So you've got that weight sitting on this small structure. And with the weight pressing down, what's beginning to happen is these vertebrae, by the way, these, these squares right through here, you've got seven cervical vertebrae, and in between each one of those are spaces, and that's where your disc is located. Those spinous processes over here, I've actually marked. They're shaped like teardrops. They're just supposed to line up in a nice straight line, and as you can see, there's nothing straight about this part of your neck. This is the left, and this is the right, just like you're sitting here looking forward at yourself. You can see how the left shoulder actually sits up higher than the right. On this picture, it should be nice and straight up the page, and it's very obvious that it's tilted somewhat there. So what we need to do, uh, as far as this goes, I call a test adjustment, and if I can loosen that up, there's a good chance that I can help you. There you go. I'm going to bend your knees. Good. And back down. Perfect. Now what we're going to do, the center piece is going to pop right up underneath you. You're going to hear a loud noise. Probably not going to uh, feel a, a pop or hear a pop or a noise, but here we go. Center piece is going to pop up. When I press down, it's going to drop. Are you okay with that? Good. I'm going to do it a couple more times. Perfect. Very good. All right. Now, what I need you to do is to take a nice deep breath and let your breath go. You might feel it move. Again, you might not feel anything good. Very good. I think you felt that. Right? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Now, the headpiece is going to pop up. And when I press forward, it's going to drop just like that. Again, makes a loud noise. Perfect. Good. Turn over on your back. And what we're going to do, I'm just barely going to tilt your head to the side. And again, you, you might feel something, might hear something. Good. You felt that, didn't you? Here we go. Once more. Perfect. Fantastic. Excellent. Very good. Now come on up. Good. Try turning your head from side to side. That's a bit looser. Very nice. Good. <laughs> Nicely done.